Question of the day, Mother Truckers. Do you think that immigrants, foreigners, and self-driving trucks is the solution to this truck shortage? What's going on, Mother Truckers? So, you know, I just want to let you guys know that anytime your ass is here about America Trucking Association, they are not for owner-operators. They are not for truck drivers. Uh, this association is run by all the big players, all the big mega carriers. So they're always going to push for their own narrative, right? So I want to show you clips of this, but the CEO of CH Robinson, if you're an owner operator, you know uh, their freight brokerage, freight service. What they do is they manage big companies freight, right? And they make billions of dollars without ever driving a truck themselves. They are not asset based. But when asked questions on national news, you know, and he references uh, American Trucking Association that there's this big truck shortage. Again, I cannot say enough, there is not a truck shortage. There's just people that are treating truck drivers very poorly and it's starting to catch up to these companies, right? How the hell is turnover rate over 110%? That means that they're leaving the companies, but they're staying in the industry, right? What you definitely have is a retention problem and not a truck shortage. What the CEO of CH Robinson's uh, projecting is that if we get foreigners and immigrants in the game of trucking, then that will help the shortage now. Immigration point is a, is a very interesting one. If you look across the demographic of truck driving, there's a very heavy slant to immigrants. Trucking is a great job for people that want to come to this country, start a business, and, and work for themselves. If truck drivers are being treated very poorly, that's why they're leaving. You know, I am always for people wanting to better their lives. You know, if you live in America, you deserve the opportunity at least to better your life. And I say do it with trucking, but they want to take advantage of people that don't understand trucking and freight rates. And why? Because they're a big freight brokerage service, right? Right now we have the upper hand and we're charging crazy rates and we are their biggest expense. Right? If they get more foreigners in, they get more immigrants in, then they could take advantage of those people. And a lot of these people, they're sending money back home. So even if they're only getting a dollar per mile, they're still making more money than they are if they are working from their own country. The CEO of CH Robinson, he's paying his own narrative by getting more immigrants, by getting foreigners over here uh, to work and become truck drivers. They don't have to pay as much. Right? And, and that's where I have the problem. Uh, you know, uh, C.H. Robinson said in 2019 that they have spent over a billion dollars in technology. And what technology? Clearly, self-driving trucks. You know, related to autonomy, we certainly think that there will be a more autonomous future in, in trucking. Um, there are several companies obviously testing and, and learning through the, the uh, autonomous features of Class A trucks. We tend to think that that's a, a bit, you know, further out into the into the uh, timeline in the future, but we'll be ready for that as, a, as an organization. You know, one of the great things about our organization is we are completely mode agnostic. And given that we move more truckload freight than really anyone else in our industry, if you start to reduce the bias of where a driver wants to go, there's likely a pretty significant efficiency unlock uh, by leveraging autonomous trucks. Uh, this is something that's short term that's going to solve this issue, but long term, he believes self driving trucks is something that's going to be needed. Right. So I'm just letting you guys know, you know, this is what the big companies think of you. Uh, they, they think that we are a huge expense and they're doing everything to paint the picture to get us out. You know, mother truckers, uh, comment down below. Uh, what are your thoughts about this?